Welcome back to Cool Things with Rob, a channel where we look at cool things. This video is part two of our look at the Little America Amusement Park in Marshall, Wisconsin. This time we're going to focus specifically on the park's amazing trains, their stories, and take a look behind the scenes at their workshop where they custom craft trains not only for the Whiskey River Railway, but for other amusement parks and individuals. It features the 16-inch gauge track. The trains are about one-third the size of normal trains. The railroad itself has over three miles of track that begins at the amusement park and goes through the trees past the wildlife pond area and across the Whiskey River. Tell me about the railroad here. Now it's uh, the Wh Whiskey River Railway. We have the, the little creek that runs through our property. We properly renamed it the Whiskey River. The name came from uh, something I found in a file when I first came here of Lee's. Uh, Lee had a small uh, railroad place in Colorado. He lived in Colorado up until the early 60s. He yeah. came here to Wisconsin. And I found something in a shoebox and it said Whiskey River Railway in it. And, and I said, what's this? Well, you know, we thought about the name of the railroad. And I was like, I didn't want our train to be called like the Little America Lines or something like that. So we, we named it the Whiskey River Railway. We not only build from scratch, but we rebuild steam locomotives and diesel and rolling stock, tracks, anything somebody wants from us. We, we do a lot of consulting that way, but we are one of the last places around that build live steam trains from scratch. And the easiest way to explain it is, we're not a manufacturer like we build this train and you buy and you get this model. We're like, when you see that show American Choppers, yeah. and a guy wants something very unique, yeah, yeah. we're those guys to trains. We oh, build okay. stuff that either nobody will attempt to build or nobody, you know, there's, it's not offered. A lot of times people come and they want to put a train in and they're, you know, they're looking for something particular. We'll actually send them away to somebody else. Yeah. Um, so we're, we're very custom oriented shop. Okay, and yeah, so it's all, they're all one-offs. Yep. And they, it's coal, it's steam. Coal or oil, we build them both ways. Uh -huh. The diesels are real diesel, or diesel hydraulic is how we build the diesels. But the live steam locomotives are, it, too bad you weren't gonna be here this weekend. Because yeah. <laughs> there's right now, we're actually, they're gonna start running steam tomorrow. If you're still around, they'll have a steam engine out tomorrow. And uh, to some of the guys that come in from around the country to help us make it possible yeah. are ready here. Oh, they're, cool. And they'll be here through Sunday or Monday. Um, but we have four running steam engines here at, at the park. One which was the first locomotive I built from scratch. Right. We have a little Atlantic that we call it the little engine that could. It's a coal burner. Right. And that was built by Norm Gracie. Lee bought that from the Sanford Zoo. Bought the whole Sanford Zoo Railroad years ago out of Florida. And uh, all these have separate stories. I'll skip over it because yeah. we'll be here for hours. But, um, and then we have a locomotive that's uh, green. It's got a wooden cab. People really like yeah. it a lot. That one originally looked like a daylight and was the original daylight that uh, in this that scale that, that ran um, in Oakland Park. And it's, we have, it was called Oakland Acorn. And we still call it that, but it doesn't look like that anymore. It looks like an old fashioned locomotive. Right. We also acquired uh, the cowboy actor, Gene Autry, which a lot of people nowadays don't know who that is, but Gene Autry, saw the Oakland Acorn and liked it so much he had the guy build him one. Oh. And he had a place called the Melody Ranch where he ran his train. And when he closed the Melody Ranch, the train ended up going to Griffith Park in uh, California in Los, uh, Los Angeles. And they ran it till it became derelict. They couldn't take care of it anymore. And they put it up for sale and we bought it. Okay. And we've restored it and it runs here. So we have Gene Autry's locomotive here also. Okay, so and that a lot of history. The, is that the daylight one? That's, that's the one that looks like the daylight. Yeah, and if you look at it, it still says Melody Ranch on it. Oh, cool. It's the same way it was. So there's a lot of history with our steam locomotives. Um, uh -huh. We have locomotives running a few different spots around. We're, we're not a huge manufacturer. We have like tons of them out there. But we've done a lot of work on a lot of them. The Milwaukee well, County it's a Zoo. a specialized thing yeah. anyway, so. Yeah, I mean, like, most of it's in this size railroading that I do. Right. Um, 
Milwaukee County Zoo, we've been their major contractor there for a number of years. And they, they have a, they haul a lot of people. They run two steam engines up with both burn coal. Okay. And we've done everything to those locomotives over the years. Okay, the finale here, we're gonna go for a train ride. This train ride is around a three mile circuit and it takes a half an hour. So they're gonna let me ride up in the cab. And how nice is that? So we'll talk to the engineer, see what he has to say. Our engineer is PJ Schleicher. Okay, and uh, if you're one of the... Uh, sorry, safety first. <laughs> So we're going around the circuit here, and how? Uh, tell me again how far it goes. And it's uh, about three and a half miles. Holy! How long is this train? We have twelve cars on it. Twelve? Twelve. Wow! It looks like it's packed back there too. We it's still got a few few openings, I think. But roughly, they can get 100, 110 people. Oh, wow! <laughs> one of the biggest railroads of its kind. I think it is one of the bigger ones. This used to be the old route down through here. So we're going through the woods. Yep, this used to be, a, they used to do a Christmas uh, tree thing. And this is kind of some of the trees that were left over from that. This that used to be a tree farm, right? Uh, it was a Christmas tree thing. Oh, okay. They'd let people come out and cut the tree. Oh. But they give that up. Now, the only thing that we have is uh, just before thanks or Thanksgiving, yeah. Halloween, he has pumpkins out here in the one field. They put pumpkins all out all over the field, and then they, the kids can ride the steam train out and pick up a pumpkin, and they get a steam ride back. <laughs> Yeah, our little uh, train at the museum in uh, Duluth, Georgia, we've got uh, two cars and it's, uh, uh -huh. let's see, we probably get on a good day, maybe uh, 15 folks, uh -huh. kids and adults, so. <laughs> yeah, we've got a family of geese that is in our I neighborhood mean. that uh, they're not too smart and they're not too fast. No. a personal tour. Look at that turntable. How cool is that? Yeah. My son and I built yeah. the... Uh, we go through 10, 10 rides a day. 10 trips a day we make.
if people are watching this video, um, are you looking for people now? Absolutely. Always looking for people and they can just look me up. Okay. It, and you can get a hold of me easily just by calling any little America number that's out there. If this okay. is something you're interested in doing, being involved with our railroad, we're always looking for people that like like you volunteer at a railroad, we're always looking for yeah. people to, to do that here. Um, so a lot retirees of and stuff, absolutely. if they want to have some, uh, yeah. have a good place to spend their time. Yeah, our engineer that's running the diesel today is PJ. He's retired. He's a retired business guy that had his own excavation company and yeah. uh, likes trains. And Well, if I lived nearby, uh, I would be on your doorstep too, probably over there helping him. Right. So. All right, well, okay. listen, you know, thank you so much. This is like... Thank you for coming out and spending time with us. Fabulous.